Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Nick RQ. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all the new news that happened today, such as guns possibly getting vaulted, guns possibly coming back, a ton of new changes happening throughout the whole entire game. I'm going to share with you guys them in this video, so I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, in any way, share or form, and I showed you guys information you didn't know before, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. And don't forget, as we're on the topic about talking about guns getting vaulted and coming back, if you could bring one gun back into the game of Fortnite, what would it be? Let me know your thoughts on that down below. In the comments, with all that said, it's your boy Garg, and let's get right into the video. Okay, so I forgot to include this in the video where this information actually came from. If you guys don't know, over on Reddit earlier today, they did a whole Q&A with Epic Games employee in the community. So I'll let you guys know that in case you're confused where this information came from, that's where it came from. Anyway, let's get back into the video. My bad. Alrighty guys, so first off, if you're watching Friday Fortnite right now, I'm going to try and make this video short, sweet, and to the point, so you guys can enjoy Friday Fortnite and go back to watching that. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the Boombo will be getting adjustments coming in the V9.20 update. So it says, in a response to a question asking about the weapon, Epic said, there are balance adjustments coming in the 9.20 update. We'll be continuing to evaluate after these changes as well. So they're basically saying they're going to make adjustments to the Boombo in the next update that happens happens within Fortnite. So in case you guys don't know why this is actually happening, the boom bow at the moment does a lot of damage and I think it's really OP. I know a lot of people think that as well and that's why they're going to be making these changes to it. Next I'm going to be talking about, you guys probably clicked on the video for, it is the pump shotgun. So this tweet says, when exit the shotgun delay will be removed, Epic Games responded. We're looking into possible tuning alterations here. The main thing we want to keep in mind is that the pump shotgun is still available in creative and always has the potential to be unvolted. And I want to focus on specifically one part of this tweet. It says, and always has the potential to be unvolted. So is the sniper getting unvolted? Is it not getting unvolted? We're going to have to find out later in this season or possibly next season. We just never know. So next thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is the sniper. So it says, the amount of snipers in the game is probably a little higher than we'd like, says Epic Games. We might see one or two snipers get vaulted in the future. So I honestly kind of agree with this. I feel like there's a lot of snipers in the game right now, but I want to ask you guys a question. If you had to vault one sniper in the game, what would it be? Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Would you vault the heavy sniper, the suppressed sniper, the hunter rifle? Let me know down below your thoughts on that. Probably, in my opinion, it probably be the suppressed sniper. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it does a lot of damage. It's silent, but I feel like that's why we have a hunting rifle. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Next thing I want to talk about in this video, this is just a little feature. It says, replay mode is getting blendable cameras as well as an auto light tool in the future. So if you guys care about getting these sick replay shots or whatever like that, that is good news for you. Personally, great news for me too, honestly. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is a huge topic as well. It says, Epic Games has discussed potentially disabling vehicles after Storm Phase 5, similar to how slipstreams are disabled. Our main concern is making sure it's clear what's going on so we're still still iterating here. So guys, if you don't know what's happening with the whole slip streams, after the fifth storm in a Fortnite game, the slip streams turn off. Those those little things you see in the air, those turn off everything like that. So they might consider doing that for ballers, quad crashers, anything like that in the fifth circle as well. That is honestly a huge change in competitive and in regular games as well, I feel like. So the next change I'm going to be talking about is more for creators. So if you're a creator, listen up to this one. It says, next release, Epic, have plans to improve private matchmaking functionality. These improvements include only allowing the server host to start the match, to allowing the server host to see how many players are in queue for that matchmaking key rather than all the players. So honestly, if you're a creator, that is really huge. If you guys don't know, I have custom matchmaking. I don't really use it that often as I should have, but if you guys want me to use it, let me know, and I might use it every once in a while. Then it says news LTM tournaments coming to Fortnite beginning with solid gold squads. If you guys don't know what's going on with that, there's going to be you know how there are tournaments, there's going to be tournaments in LTMs now, and it's going to be starting with solid gold squads. Next thing I want to be talking about is Epic Games confirms that drum guns are currently accountable. Get this for only 5.26% of eliminations. I don't know who's doing the math there, but that honestly is crazy. 
Because I don't know about you guys, but I see everybody and their grandma just using drum gun and spraying everybody down with. I don't know if that's true. That's how I feel, and that's how a lot of other people feel. So that's pretty crazy how only almost 5% of illuminations come from drum guns. There's definitely something wrong there. Next thing I have for you guys, and the final thing, it says Epic Games are considering using creative mode islands in competitive Fortnite. That is honestly huge. If you're a competitive player or you're watching it in general, but with all that said, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Just letting you guys know all the news that is happening within today and is happening in the future as well. So if you guys have any thoughts, have any opinions on any of this stuff, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I always want to hear what you guys think, especially on these type of videos because there's a ton of changes happening very, very soon and possibly in the next update. So if you guys enjoyed this video, anyway, share it for me. I showed you guys information you didn't know before. I appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. On top of that, it helps me out tremendously. If you guys are new to the channel, as always, I'd love to have you on this channel. Make sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to stay... Further, my supporter credit code is I'm Nick Arg, no space. And with all that said, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Hope you enjoyed once again, and I'll talk to you guys either in a couple hours with a brand new stream or tomorrow with a brand new upload and a stream. I cannot wait, and I'll see you guys there. Have a great night. Peace. <laughs>